Welcome to Entrepreneurs Are Leaders podcast with Harry Sardinas. Interviews with world's most influential entrepreneurs that share tips about how to grow your business exponentially. Charismatic speaking, leadership, branding, marketing strategies designed to help you monetize your knowledge, find true happiness and manifest your goals and dreams. Welcome to Entrepreneurs Are Leaders and we have today we have our special guest Philip. And we're going to be covering something very interesting today about the high level overview of the investing space. So, Philip, tell us what, what, what that means. Yeah, so I think it's important before we go into specific details that the audience knows exactly what the nuances are in different asset classes, right, within the investment space, right? Because normally speaking, you know, when it comes to traditional asset classes, people with you know, go with real estate, they go with mutual funds, bonds, even colleges can be considered as a traditional asset class, right? Uh, but where we specialize in, it's on the other side, is under alternative investments here at Lightspeed Investing, specifically within derivatives, right? We have subject matter expertise in the futures and commodity financial markets, which is considered to be the most lucrative asset class due to its inherent risk and volatility. Most people shy away from these markets because they simply don't know how to leverage the risk and volatility, but we, we know how to do it right, having been in the industry for over 15 years now as a group. Now, there are other asset classes within alternative investments that we're in the same neighborhood as, right? Uh, stock options, cryptocurrencies, foreign exchange known as Forex, art, as well as luxury timepieces, right? So just to give you a high level overview, that's kind of the different sectors. You have traditional assets versus alternative assets. And here we specifically focus on futures because of the volatility that allows us to garner someone's annual salary within half an hour. That's amazing, Philip. And then let's talk about, you know, one of the, of the verticals that you guys specialize because in the area of money management uh, for high network uh, individuals that, you know, uh, over half a million, right? Mm -hmm. So can you tell us what you guys do different? Because a lot of people say, well, I, I can do wealth management. Everybody's looking for these high network individuals, yeah. but the package and the solution that they gave to them, they are always something very common, something that, right. that, that is about public knowledge. So what you guys have different, how you can make uh, these high network individuals actually to make the money work really I love that question, them. man. I love that question. So our methodology is based on a great man named John Arnold. If you Google him, right, Arnold took 1.5 million to 1.5 billion in two and a half years, trading the commodity natural gas the right way. Yes, Harry, 1.5 million to 1.5 billion oh, in two and a half years. Now, his net worth is $3.3 billion. And people were saying if he kept going at this rate, he would eclipse Warren Buffett. However, with Arnold, as he became a billionaire, he actually went into philanthropy and he stopped, right? So right now he's currently ranked 395 on Forbes. Uh, you know, I think he's like 49, 50 years old now. But man, if he kept going, he, he would be a lot higher on that. So when we manage money, there's several things that makes us different. Number one, uh, a bulk of our methodology not, it not only comes from Arnold, but we do represent a group of medical professionals who transition to this realm of finance, right? So we've added our own prudence, professionalism, and ethics from our medical training on top of Arnold's methodology, right? Where similar to making a correct medical diagnosis, the difference here between diagnosing MRI scans, X-ray scans, and CT scans here is that when we diagnose these charts the right way, it can actually print you money like your own ATM machine, okay? So it's number one, it's a methodology. Okay. Number two, it's the asset class. Again, we deal with futures. It historically speaking has the most risk and volatility, but we know how to leverage the risk and volatility with our proprietary methods. Right. And number three, whenever we enter the conversation of money management, we're very prudent and we actually never take custody. Okay. Of the client's finances. Unlike your traditional financial advisory structures, Harry, like if you were interested in working with us, and let's say you wanted to put up a million dollars just to make them uh, uh, numbers simple, you don't write us the money, okay? You don't send it to us. What happens is you, us, and the brokerage that we utilize will have a contract. Usually speaking, it's a monthly 
profit split basis on the million dollars at a very minimum, at a very minimum, you can anticipate five to 10% return on your investment, right? But we do a lot more than that. We just, we, we make sure that to be safe, we tell you to expect five to 10% minimum. So to make it simple, let's say a 10% on the million, you would expect 100K back in profits, right? But we would obviously split it. So we would probably go 50-50, so 50K your way, 50K our way. Our firm is different because our subject matter expertise is short-term investing, right? Not long-term. So we never talk about returns on an annualized basis. We talk about returns on a daily basis. We're talking about returns uh, within minutes, right? Within hours, within weeks, and the longest is the month, okay? So that's kind of what separates us is we also never take custody of the client's finances, all right? And you actually give authorization to write us the check when we split the mm -hmm. profits. So not only can you check on your account 24 seven, but when you see that the money, you know, is at a level that allows you to be satisfied as a customer, you're going to be very happy to write us that 50, 50 profit split check. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I love about this strategy, which is something very important. It's not about how much return you're going to make or how much money you're going to make is the secret is how fast can you make this money? Right. Because exactly. if, if you're going to make have a, 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 a big return, but it's going to take one year, two years, five years, your money lock, uh, then, then it's completely different ball game that actually produce high returns and, and get the money and get the, the, the profits fast. And, okay. uh, and and I get it, guys. That this is what what you specialize in 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 this area. Now let's talk about uh, the other part of it. You know, because uh, not so many people uh, they are high net worth individuals uh, that have half a million or more, right? Some people actually, you know, they 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 can have less budget, mm -hmm. and maybe they cannot afford. Uh, the full service, but they right. want from to learn from from you guys. Mm -hmm. So, how is the process that you can teach like um, any individual? Let's say, for example, a doctor, a lawyer, some people that that they are um, we can call it a time poor and cash rich, yes. and they want to secure a very uh, healthy retire for, mm -hmm. for 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 the money, and they want to put the money to work but they actually uh, want to learn how to do it. How can you help uh, these people and and why is different about all uh, teaching platforms that they are out there? Right, well, so first and foremost, number one thing that stands out is we are doers who happens to educate. I need to say that again, we are doers. I love that. Educate, right, so we've been running the hedge fund for over 15 years. We actually manage money at a high level because when you trade really well, you first start by trading for yourself. You can then trade for others, right? Hence the money management. And if you have to track recording experience to back it up, you can actually also trade for institutions such as international banks, as well as trust funds, which we both have done and, and, and are currently doing right now, as we secured recently a $250 million contract with a trust fund. So, well, you know, what I, what I would say is when people learn from us, right, they're learning from someone who's in the markets day in and day out. That's number one. And within our teaching structure, not only do we teach you in the evenings, we normally teach Mondays and Wednesdays in the evenings for one hour, but then Tuesdays and Thursday mornings, we actually go live for half an hour. We demonstrate that skill set and we make that money in front of you. So if you stop by any of our morning sessions, right when the New York bell rings and the market outcry happens, you're going to witness us clear someone's annual salary in half an hour. I'm talking about a minimum of $50,000 made in front of your eyes you know, on average between 100 to 150K. We do that day in and day out, you know, in the first half hour. And that is what the confidence comes from, right? In terms of when the audience gets to learn from us, because you don't want to learn from someone who's going to lose money in front of you, right? We boost, we boost a 98% accuracy rate according to our money management brokerages over the past several months, right? In terms of how surgically precise we are. So how do we transfer this accuracy and skill set to you? Well, we first and foremost, make sure you go through three phases. I was initially trained to become a surgeon. So I'm going to make some surgery example. Harry, I think you and I can agree there's a fundamental difference between learning surgery and actually operating in a live OR right, on, a, on a live patient, right? So in this specific scenario, live surgery is no different than putting real money on the line. 
Okay. Now we are a make money firm. People work with us because we either help them make money or we teach them how we do it so they can do it on their own. Okay. So in this specific instance, from a surgery standpoint, right, uh, analogy wise, you want to first learn and absorb like a sponge. Okay. The reason why we make the money, money is a byproduct. Money is an outcome. The reason why we are able to do what we do is because we have to write inputs and we have to write strategies. So we make sure that our clients focus on the inputs, the thing that actually get you the money. Okay. So for you first learn and absorb like a sponge. There's about five to seven factors that you need to watch for. All right. And only when these factors are in unison, in, in alignment, right. And in constellation, do you ever enter in a trade? Okay. So in phase two, you want to take what you learn and you want to practice on a simulated environment. In, in this case, it's like making sure you have more successful surgeries than non-successful ones on a manic and patient first and foremost before you ever transition to live, right? So within this simulated environment, we focus on inputs. How many points off of how many contracts are you able to extract from these markets day in and day out? And out of 10 trades, how accurate are you? Because if you're not at least at an 80% accuracy or more, you have no business trading and putting real money on the line because that now constitutes right in our company as gambling and we never gamble we do things for sure right we want to enter and exit the markets with surgical precision right so we we're a little bit different right in the fact that we make sure you go through these three phases accordingly right and also making sure that you focus on the inputs i don't think a lot of people talk about that enough right money making is very very um you know, exciting, but wait, why does the money like happen? Where does it come from? Right? It's because there are your inputs similar to your speaking business, right? Before people are inspired to want to purchase whatever you're offering on stage, you have to be a great compelling speaker, right? That moves the audience that inspires. That's the inputs right there, Harry, right? For the speaking mm. business. So there's no, you know, the, the same thing for us, when we talk about our approach to the markets, it, it's having the right inputs first and foremost and then philip i want that you address a little bit more about this because we have always these people right that uh, they always say oh it's too good to be true and there is something very important that i want to enhance here yes. there are things that you know there are things that you know that you don't know but there are things that you don't know that you don't know that you mm -hmm. don't know and yeah. this, is, this is the blind spot that uh, a lot of people can be listening to this podcast and can be say, well, this is too good to be true. I don't really think that this is possible. And mm -hmm. it's because they have this blind spot. They don't know Absolutely. what they don't know what they don't know. So yeah. what message do you have for, for the people that, uh, that they are listening to this podcast, mm -hmm. but they are, they are, uh, doubting that we that you can actually produce these results and it, of course they they're doubting because there is a piece of information a specific piece of information or a specific piece of knowledge that you guys have that they don't know that they don't know that they don't know right. so well, that's why you know unlike what message do you have to these people yeah yeah that's why unlike most hedge fund managers we're more so passionate about this educational division you know, my business partner and I, we both did not find fulfillment within the medical field. You know, he, he was not born into wealth, um, you know, during his training and residency days, he, he struggled, you know, paying a $500 monthly rent. So for us, what we've recognized is unless you're someone heavily immersed within the financial districts of the world, right? Like the Chicago Mercantile Exchange or the New York Mercantile Exchange, New York Stock Exchange, right? You just would not be privy to this information. Colleges are meant to produce employees, right? Your typical career fairs are not going to explain this and address this. And the reason is because this is not normal information that gets passed around, right? I never yeah, you don't find this information in Google, no. you don't find this in YouTube, you won't find this no. <laughs> anywhere, right? No, not, not the hedge fund space and this and that. Like you got to know people, you got to shake people's hands, right? Uh, you got to be in, in, in rooms where that, that conversation can be facilitated. So I was blessed, you know, when I embarked on an entrepreneurial journey, I, I, I set my, I put myself in a position for success by, by traveling to high caliber business events, right? You know, I invested, you know, I put the money down, you know, for, for, for 
you know, these tickets that probably would, would scare you with their price points. But I knew <laughs> that if I was in the right room, I would have conversations with the right people. And that's where you get this information. So first and foremost for us, right, the message is not only are we doers who happens to educate, we also go live, we prove it in front of you, and we are passionate about whether or not if you decide to do anything with these markets, we feel strongly that you should at least know about it, right? So that's why we do what we do, you know, we, and it's not like we advertise crazily, you know, we're only on LinkedIn right now because we want to train, you know, quality individuals, not trying to train the whole world every single month. But first and foremost, you need to have an open mind. Okay. And what I would say is, if you're curious, you can always, you know, message me on LinkedIn or, or, or my, my team members, you know, and let us know that you're interested in sitting on the live sessions, right? Again, we do it in front of you. So maybe the first time you come, you see this amount of money being made in half an hour, you go, I don't believe in it. Okay, well, that's fine. You know, maybe you're like, it's luck, it's coincidence. Come again a second time. Maybe the second time you're like, ah, no way, no way. Uh, I still don't believe it. Okay, come again. But I think, Harry, by the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, you know, the tenth time, if we keep doing the same thing and you come to the evening sessions and you learn the methodology behind it and, and it starts to like come together, now there should be a conversation that warrants right substance and depth. And and for you to recognize, okay, like this is not fake. This is this is not too good to be true because what they're teaching at night actually matches up with what they're demonstrating in the mornings. Yeah. And then Philip, you know, I always said, you know, with education, those mm -hmm. ones that don't have can have, right? It would this this was talked to me by uh, Richard Tang, which is the founder of Success Resources, the biggest personal development uh, event company in the world. Yeah, they represent Tony Robbins, Robbie Kiyosaki, and the biggest speaker on this planet. Yeah. And huh? Richard shared with me always this, he said, with education, those ones that don't have can have. So the uh, the right piece of information and the right education for, for the people out there can actually, you know, and we're not saying to people to quit the job as a doctor, to quit the job as a lawyer, or to quit the job as a teacher, because, you know, this they're passionate about. However, if they can have a certain piece of knowledge that can generate wealth for them, and they can learn about, it's going to make a huge difference in in their life. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have a huge impact. And everything in life is about knowledge, right? I think that... Uh, even today, Philip, even if I take all the money that you have, right? I take everything that you have, yeah? I'm sure, and I give you with no bad account, no money and everything, I'm sure that in six months you're worthy again because it's in your head. So the knowledge right. is, 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 a, is, is something that, that, um, that will lead you is, it, to wealth and also, you know, uh, training and error is very expensive. So hiring a coach, having a mentor, is uh, is something that that will accelerate uh, your process. Now, tell us the the other part of this uh, secret recipe that you guys have to to uh, help people to increase their wealth, which mm -hmm. is the software. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about the software, what it does and how it works. No, I, I love it. So first and foremost, you have to realize that where the origins come from, right? So the manual trading itself came from a great man named John Arnold. Again, Arnold took 1.5 million to 1.5 billion in two and a half years back in 07, currently ranked 395 on Forbes. Could be a lot higher if he didn't quit and, uh, and go into philanthropy. Now, the other gentleman, he recently passed away at age 86. His name is James Simmons or Jim Simmons. CEO of Renaissance Technologies. All right. Now he's a renowned mathematician and he, uh, he took his applied mathematics skills to investing. He was a, a worldly recognized ac academia. Okay. In mathematics, they, uh, if you read the book, how to invest with from David Rubenstein, he actually has an interview with him. So he kind of goes in depth on that, but within the book, they talk about how James Simmons, you know, being a, a renowned mathematician, they were trying to solve a problem within the three dimensions, all right? 
And James goes, well, why don't we try to solve it for all of the dimensions? So because he did that, th that academic paper is still around after 60, 70 years. And oh. people of all disciplines still quote him. I'm talking about astronomers, physicists, engineers, fellow medical professionals, life sciences, whatever you have it, because it's applied to all dimensions. So basically, that's where he, he, he put a stamp on you know, uh, uh, the world as a renowned mathematical genius, right? And then what happened was he got involved with some investing projects. And the first thing he applied it to was commodities, right? So what I would do is I would look at the manual skill set of trading, right, from Arnold as being a world class surgeon. Now, as a world class surgeon, you know, you can have great hands, uh, great technique, but you can only operate on one or two patients at a time. All right. In this case, one or two markets at a time because you're super concentrated. Right. Uh, but the, the thing about the automated software is you got to look at the automated software like it's a robotic surgeon. OK, so the robotic surgeon, what, what are the pros and cons? Well, guess what? The robotic surgeon can operate on multiple patients at a time. In this case, multiple markets. Also, the robotic surgeon will most likely have longer stamina than the actual human uh, 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 surgeon. Right. So there's nuances. Right, where, like, for example, in, in short stints, uh, you being a world-class surgeon or, or world-class trader here, uh, again, we're high-frequency traders, so we're only investing half an hour to an hour and a half, and then we're done for the day. We're not your typical day traders, right, spending five to eight hours in front of the screens. So at the, in terms of the manual skill set, if your mental acuity is really sharp, right, within that 30 minutes to, to ha uh, an hour and a half, you can probably outperform the software, but as your mental acuity wanes, your sharpness wanes, right? You're not going to be as profitable because you're going to get tired, right? And you want to maybe eat, go to the bathroom, whatever, whatever, whatever. But the software is not going to, you know, have those issues. So you do have some pros and cons. So the software is meant to emulate our 98% accuracy as much as possible. And wow. so the software, you know, for those who are more so existing clients within the system because you do have to know some things first before you operate the software right um so for our existing clients we also offer an automated software especially if they're too busy uh, uh and they want to maybe not uh, um you know put everything on their own brain uh they want to they want to have you know the software uh um, do the trades for them so they can just manage and monitor it right as opposed to entering and exiting the trades themselves they can have the software enter and then they can manage the exits so that they, they don't have to do as much work, so to speak. So that is the concept of our automated software. And again, the two great names that we follow, right? It's John Arnold for the manual trading side of things, the, the educational division. And then you have Mr. James Simmons or Jim Simmons of Renaissance Technologies, uh, who's, by the way, net worth is $30.1 billion. Wow. But the thing is, Harry, it did not take him his entire lifetime, 86 years old, right? before he passed, it did not take him the entire lifetime to amass that wealth. It only took him about 15 or 16 years as he didn't get wow. started in his late 60s. So that right there showcases the power of light speed investing embedded within futures and commodities if you know how to be surgically precise and if, if you know how to do it right. Because if not, then you will lose a lot of money for sure. And then tell us a little bit more, you know, because a lot of people, there are a lot of softwares in the market that, that they claim that uh, they can give high return and everything. Why this software is so special? What, what, what is unique about? Yeah, I would say the software is special because number one is the asset class that we're dealing with, right? You know, uh, if you have the same distance, but you're driving a Toyota Corolla versus a BMW M8 versus a Ferrari, right? That's the leverage. So our leverage is a Ferrari in, in the space, right? Because of the volatility. So the wow. asset class is so important. Okay. That's number one. That's why we're able to do what we do. That's why the growth rate is, is there. Number two is the methodology. Again, our methodology stems from two great billionaires in this space, right? Not just someone who is, you know, a retail trader, not just someone who's got five years of experience, right? But, but these are billionaires in this space, okay, number two. And then number three, we've been doing it for over 15 years. And so the software is meant to emulate our manual performance, right? We're trying to get it as close to 98% accuracy as much as possible. Wow. Yeah. So then we want to be covering in the next three episodes, yeah, the points yeah. with you about the importance of leverage, 
uh, the ATM strategy and growing and scaling your trading skill set to acquire real life MBA. So we want our audience to be tuned to this uh, three episodes that, that we follow with Philip. We'll share with you guys uh, an amazing uh, content, right? That right. can change uh, your life. But Philip, it's our listeners already are want to know more about it. Yeah, I want to know exactly how to reach you guys and how the process works and they want to give it a try. Can you share with us how the, how they can start to experience and to see by the results? Of course, just yeah, message me on LinkedIn, Philip J. Hawk Chan, you know, I'm gonna send me a message. My team will definitely get back to you. Let us know that you're from Harry's podcast. And also there should be a Calendly link in the show notes. If you want to book a call, have a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm offering that, you know, to the audience here of Harry's so that we can get to know each other a little bit more. And I can grant you a complimentary two-week pass to those weekly sessions that I mentioned where we teach at night and we also make the money in front of you live in the mornings. You know, I think talk is cheap, Harry. So, so visuals, right, and demonstrating it is so important. And when we talk about the software, I just want the audience to know you know, in the month of September, you know, I have a spreadsheet because I keep track of these things where my client doubled his money with the software. You know, he wow. took it from he initially started with 10K and he learned some software management skills and the account is now at 20K. Right. And I have the Google document for that. So if you want to actually see some visuals, uh, message me on LinkedIn, book that call and uh, let me know that you want to take a look at those screenshots. I'll be happy to send it over to you. That's, that's very good. And all these resources will be available in the description of this broadcast. So, Philip, thank you so much for sharing all this information with us and for you following this series of podcasts. Uh, stay, pay attention to our next because we're going to be covering more about the topic and Philip is going to go in depth in these three points. Yes. Number one is going to be the importance of leverage. So we're going to have a full episode uh, about this. We're going to have a second full episode about the ATM strategy. So basically, it's like you have your own cash point that you can right. take money. And, and that ATM will become a bank the better you get it. And you become a bank. Oh, God, the, look at that. Yeah. And then the next point that Philip will be covering is growing and scaling your trading skill set to acquire a real life MBA. MBA meaning massive bank account. That's right. Not your typical educational master's of business administration, but the real world MBA, which is a massive bank account. And that's the one thing that matters. So once again, Philip, thank you so much for being so kind, for spending time with our audience and to give valuable resources that remember that here the entrepreneurs are leaders. We want all entrepreneurs to be happy. We want them to be wealthy, but also... We want something very important that entrepreneurs need to understand, right? Regardless, any business that you are at the moment, either it could be real estate, either it could be a retail, it could be a tech, business have something that sometimes they have a life span. And we all uh, think that our business is going to live forever, right? Okay. And this is not reality. Reality is that, you know, uh, the market can change, the trend can change, technology can advise, can advance, and the business that is very profitable today is giving you a lot of money. Probably in the next two, three years, if a technology advance or a new competitors come into place, maybe you will go out of business and that's okay. However, if by the time that is now that you're making real money, and your business is flourishing and you're making profit. If you learn how to uh, take this uh, money and invest it in all the diff different verticals, you're going to have like your pension, you're going to have your wealth secure. You can invest uh, in, in stocks like, like Philip sharing with us. You can put a little bit also in property and it doesn't matter in, in the next three to five to ten years, you go out of business. Even regardless, you go out of business, you're going to have your wealth secure and you're going to have a ton of money and you're going to start from now. You want from now to make that money that you earn with your business to put it to work for you. That's so right. On that note, 
pay attention to this series of podcasts and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you so much, Philip. Bye for now. Thank you, Harry. See you next time. Follow us for more on charismatic speaking, leadership, exponential business growth, branding, marketing, strategies designed to help you monetize your knowledge, find true happiness and manifest your goals and dreams.